Carrie, back to you. Good stuff. Thank you very much for that, Heron. Well, you're probably stocking up on all those sugary snacks as kids count down to Halloween. Dr. Sam Dar joins us in studio with some tips for trick-or-treating and preventing those post-candy cavities. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So not all Halloween candy is created equal. There are some good ones and bad ones out there. That's exactly it, just like everything else. Um, Halloween is, for an orthodontist, is our worst nightmare. Okay. Uh, but there are, you know, you can't stop children from having sweets. You know, Halloween is, is what it is. Sure. Uh, but we can give, give parents some guidance as to what to use and what not to use. Okay. So okay. now you have, you brought in a couple of different ones here. These are the ones that are maybe not so good. Yeah. Why well, is that? Okay. Well, here what we have to keep in, in mind is um, candy, hot candy can cause, can break the teeth basically. And this is jawbreaker or jawbuster. And these are bad because they're so hot and kids tend to bite into them and that can actually crack their teeth. Um, the other one, uh, a ring pop, for instance, is it, they suck on it for such a long time that the sugar stays in contact with their teeth for a lot longer, and that makes it one of the worst things uh, that they can use for Halloween. Uh, so these are some of the things is basically how hot the candy is, how high the sugar content is, and how long it stays in their mouth, and that really makes it really, really bad. Um, we can't disregard soft drinks either, you know, soft drinks. They, they stay in your, on your teeth. That's exactly it, and they, they sip on them, it takes 45 minutes to an hour sometimes and that actually stays in the vestibule which is right really behind the teeth and that the sugar stays in contact with their teeth for a lot longer. So this is when I think I'm dieting I think well if I eat something really fast it's like it never happened. So it's kind of the case with candy if you eat it quickly it's just a little bit better for you? That's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of the lesser of the two evils. Like I said we can't prevent kids from eating candy but we can at least direct them and I have brought uh, some of these candy bar for instance kids tend to chew these a little bit faster They're, it's not as sticky Okay. Uh, there's a wafer on the inside. So again, if you can't stop them, at least direct them to the lesser of the two evils, so to speak. So I understand that um, this is a bad time of year for you because you get a lot of your clients who have braces coming in with candy stuck in their braces? Oh yeah, you'd be surprised what we've seen. And then they, they come in and they tell us, well, I was drinking soup or I was eating bread when the, when yeah. the braces got undone. And you look closely and you see a piece of candy caught in between the braces, right? Um, so it happens usually within the next three weeks after that. We're going to see a lot of these emergencies in my office, I can guarantee you that. Now, you actually specialize in Invisalign. Is, yes. are, 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 is it too young for children to have Invisalign, or is that really strictly for adults? It, it's for adults, but if children are really compliant, and they've lost their baby teeth, 12, 13 years old, and they're compliant, we can give them Invisalign, at which point we see less trauma, so to speak, in our office. Uh, because basically, they're removable, they take them out, they, they consume the candy, and then they brush their teeth and put the aligners, the Invisalign back on. So it does create a lot less emergencies for us and for the parents for that matter. And this is actually something that a lot of adults are doing though. They're, they're getting the Invisalign. Does it take about the same time as braces though? It, it takes, takes about the same time. Yeah, there, there's a misconception that it, it takes a little bit longer mm -hmm. or that it's, it's not true. It takes the same amount of time as braces would. Okay. Yeah. And just quickly, before I let you go, do you have any brushing tips for this time of year? I guess for any time of year, yeah. but with the, especially with candy, is there a certain way that people should be brushing their teeth? Yes, we people sometimes tend to forget the, to brush the inside, especially kids, to brush the inside of their teeth. And so we want to direct them that way. If they're wearing braces, it's not enough that they brush their teeth. They actually have to go around and brush the braces as well. Um, so brushing, which usually takes two to three minutes, when braces are on, they should take five to six minutes every time. So they just circle with a brush around the braces. An electric toothbrush will actually be a good idea for these kids because a manual dexterity is not all that good. Okay. So uh, an electric brush will do the trick. Okay, sounds good. Uh, listen, thank you very much for joining us. Now, I understand yes. you just expanded into Alberta? Yes, just opened up an office in downtown Calgary as well, so we're doing Invisalign in there too. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, listen, thank you. Great tips. Thanks for joining us in studio. Thank you for having me. Dr. Sam Dar, thank you. thank you. Still to come, rescue